YouTube friends. I'm at a stop sign. Today we are going to the Chicago Adler Planetarium. Oh! And we're gonna pick up Mr. Apter, my teammate. Can't wait for you to meet him. Woo! We are at the Adler Planetarium. Look who's with me, Mr. Apter. <laughs> ben Apter. Ben out of the place we can find some fun things for our kids to entertain us uh, and hopefully we have fun some, you have some fun too okay and uh we don't kill ourselves because it's chicago in the winter okay we don't slip and fall again okay oh, look at the apple oh, wonder if all the wonder if all the interactive stuff is inside there the crater machine After, why are you so exciting? Because I love space. <laughs> My inner ten-year-old is going so okay. crazy. We love space. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, nice Thank people. You. Good morning. Good morning. We're teachers. Hi. Hi, we're teachers. Oh, look at that. Oh, I remember this. This is like an exhibit to like some of the okay hi we're teachers okay. scouting out our field trip wednesdays are free days and from four to ten and for illinois just reserve tickets come on down free and then for teachers and students Tuesdays and yes. Thursdays, free at the Adler. Come on down! Wow, look at us! Thank you! And then did you get that? Welcome to the uh, Space Theater. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to just take a listen to this, okay? Spooky. What's that weird noise? Do we have any ideas, anybody? What do we think? Space noise. I'm surprised nobody has said aliens. <sighs> We're so minutes of uh, Skywatch Live. I'm going to reveal what that weird noise is during the show, okay? So keep that in mind. I think they form a picture of a pattern, but they don't belong to the official group of AD constellations. However, they differ is part of the constellations. Let me trace out the stars that form that pattern. All right, take a moment, look at that. Okay, Ben. Yeah. What did you think of that show so that as was, a teacher? That was exactly as I remembered it was. That's gonna be really engaging. It seems like the, the person, it's not, it's not like a movie, but it's a live show. So it's like a teacher who teaches everyone everything. He's super knowledgeable about all the stars and the locations and where to find them. And, uh, it's gonna be really cool for the students to actually watch that. Yeah. Because they're gonna be like, I didn't know anything. I didn't know there's so many planets in the sky. What was nice for me is uh, growing up in Canada, I would always be able to see the stars. And since being here in Illinois, I haven't really been able to see the stars. And so to me, this was such a beautiful reminder that we're not alone. Yeah. You know, just seeing like all the star clusters okay. and the possibilities of other planets and life forms that could be out there. Like, 
see, so I've, cool too. I've learned that like how many stars are out there, and it's like I can't imagine how many there are. They say like hundreds of trillions. And how do you grasp that? And so it's really hard to understand. Yeah. Another cool like noticing for me was I felt like I was inside of a globe instead of being yeah. outside teaching about what goes around. Or, and and so what was so nice is that even the path of the sun. Um, the zodiacs, seeing all the zodiacs line up, that was so awesome. It's also how it's cool how everything is connecting to it. And yeah. So, like one is about zodiacs, and it's couples of about where the planets are, and then yeah. where it's like all you can even see some of the moons and even the galaxies. And I locations. love that. Yeah, so, I love. I think the students are really gonna love seeing the planets that they've only seen on a piece of paper, yeah. like two dimensionally. You see it three dimensionally. I even thought the instructor was exceptional. He was good. He was down to earth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, now you're just like... That was there. definitely oh, pun not intended. Okay, okay. alright. <laughs> Hi, Bill Kelly. Hello, how's you're, it going? You're amazing. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, we're two teachers and we so appreciated your show. It was phenomenal. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah. yeah, like I cannot wait for our students to see this. Oh, cool. um, you mentioned something about calculating light pollution and to see you after the show. Yeah, there's, um, it's called, if you uh, have a web browser, globeatnight.org. Okay, I just got it. Okay. Yeah. Globeatnight.org. Okay. Yeah, it's all one word, globeatnight.org. Okay. And uh, what they'll do is, like we were looking at Ryan mm -hmm. earlier in the show, yeah. they'll have you... Uh, compare the star. Whoa. 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 Look at the Moonshot Mural Project. Oh my god, that looks so amazing. Look at this. Carnival theme park. Free Wi-Fi. Oh my god, Ben, these are amazing. We could even have them do murals. Okay, so this is the Delicious Moon. So this is, um, or like there's a theater in there. Okay, we gotta check that out. Oh, oh these are so cool. So these are like the missions of both and all the pathways they've taken. So we're gonna look for all of the, for all the probes and oh, all the missions. 73. This is, like the, this is how many of them went around and like the direction they took. We've been, we took some of Venus, a few to Mercury, several around the sun. We've had 73 moon oh, yeah. missions. We've had 40 we missions to Mars. We recently just had a moon mission. Whoa. So, what are they about? so Europa right here. Yeah. That one, this book, this planet is like fully volcanic, and it's got the biggest eruptions in the universe. Great. This one is cool because it actually has water, salt water. But, uh, um, Ganymede's the largest Callisto. So, fun fact: these were these four were discovered on my birthday. Oh come yeah, on! by Galileo. That's why he's. That's why. Ben, why are you so that's cool? why he's my favorite scientist. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's my no, favorite. Yeah, astronomer. no prejudice there. Look at this cool chart. Oh, is this like interactive? Oh, whoa! Yeah. Oh, wow. oh. So down. Oh, we just tapped the mission. So, uh, juice. Jupiter icy moons launch date 414 23 that recent this is these are this really arrives in 2031 how old will you be in 2031 let's count it i just turned 29 <laughs> oh, it's okay. aligns with the North Star. We had a I just learned that. Oh long sunlight changes so much. Wow. What is it? What is the uh, a meridian line? Mm. And there's a chance for you. What okay. is AM and PM standpoint? Oh my goodness. I'm sweating. PM. Try and guess it? No, my brain hurts. Uh, anti and post meridian. Sun reaches the meridian line. Oh, don't you feel smarter? Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mr. Raptor. He's <laughs> such a good teacher. Okay, what? let's go check out these planets. And then opening so they let Pluto in on the on the standby. Pluto and the end. Look at this. It's exactly what I was talking about. About the uh, it's gonna blow crater maker. Yeah. 
It's gonna you oh press a button God. and it shoots air and it pops okay, over. I'm gonna film you doing that. So you make a creator, Mr. Raptor. Oh, it says wait for the countdown. What? 40 oh. seconds. It says can't wait for that time so I can make those crazy. You can see this crater. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7 2, 2, 1. Whoa! This is like this is pure iron. This could be like an iron or what? This is an iron or me or a D. Vesta and Sickness. This is the asteroids that Vesta was mentioned in the show yeah. and then Sirius is the largest. And it's in the asteroid belt, so you can actually see it from the binoculars. You can see from binoculars and telescopes. Clark family. Oh, this is like where we were before. Yeah. There's two uh, shuttles that you can find in really, really famous exhibits. Two of them are destroyed, and oh. there's two others I can't remember where. Oh. The Discovery is in the Smithsonian. Okay. And you can see the whole shuttle there. Okay. The coolest one was uh, the Atlantis, oh. which is in the Kennedy, and it, the entire thing is still intact. And you can see from the inside and from the behind how crazy big it is. It is ben, so cool. When did you go to the Kennedy Center? Uh, for your drumming? I wish. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it was like a year and a half. It was like two years ago, I think. Okay. It was so cool. Oh, these are the Apollo missions. That's so awesome. like Apollo 7. Oh, they should find the medallions. We should have them find, find these medallions. Find the let's Apollo 13 and Apollo 11. I don't think I could fit in there, Ben. Not these long legs. Not these long legs. So the Gemini is started before Apollo. Oh, look at it. We didn't know this. Still, missions things we didn't know. Gemini program seems to have demonstrated that. Okay. Moment of silence. Thanks, astronaut. Yeah. Okay, look at this. E Ben, you're on the moon. Ben's on the moon. Mr. Raptor's on the moon. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Oh my god. Look at this, Ben. Hello. Is anybody there? Mars? Have one of those. <laughs> ben, we used to have those phones, okay? real life. Ben, are you having fun? We need a call from NASA. Hang on. Okay, wait. I'm I'm doing some very serious button pressing controls. I'm in the control room. Okay. Look at this data. We're collecting. Who are you talking to, Ben? I'm calling NASA for a double cheeseburger right now. <laughs> Jasper for a side of fries. Yeah. Cheese fries. Oh, we didn't do Planet Explorers. That's for the, the kids yeah. one. Yeah. Our solar system. Okay, wait. The Cosmic Cafe. That is the place. That's where we I eat I think lunch? that's where we're going to be eating lunch. Okay. So they're going to get a good view of that. Okay. And then Mission Moon we just did. Uh, we might be doing the, sec the, the next floor then. Okay. Okay. One of them is 
Oh, yeah, so you they have can play. Okay. They can see I have it. one. Mine actually sleeps. Yeah. It's I gotta, snapped? I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta fix my oh, new chair. But now, one. now so when the students one. go and they have money to spend, they can buy those tiny little cradles. We should get small ones. Okay. Or All right. I, should, another, like another I, that, um, okay. I know that they do buy it. I just have a lot of pictures and also like good amount of words where like yeah. they're oh. interesting things that like some something like Mars or like a lot of information and like a lot of pictures and words yeah. not too many words but yeah, yeah. a lot that of pictures beautiful. so like a lot of people like buying for just putting okay. in the classroom right. I would say those are the oh. two top things that I know wow. teachers will buy yeah okay, I even see like space activities yeah. puzzles constellations constellations Know if you guys have any okay, thank you so much. Oh, the entire solar system. Question, is that too scale? <laughs> uh, ask Mark Broker. Oh, this is so cool. Tiny planetarium. Where you like put, put light on it. And then you can see all the... It shines the... Uh, Oh yeah, you see there, it just puts lights in and you can put, see like this tiny uh, constellation symbol there and it projects it out. Oh, look at astronauts, mission commander, hey, Barbies in space. <laughs> <laughs> wow, those are so cute. Is that a backpack? What I love too is the beautiful view. I love that they put windows all around. And I need more space. <laughs> okay, we're in the space shop. And still struggling to open this still up. Still struggling. Ooh, don't you wish you got this at the space shop? I came here to learn mm. all I got was candy. Yeah. <laughs> we are really dedicated to helping our students. Okay, there you go. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, mm. Mm. So, oh yeah. yeah. Go to the space shop. Mm -hmm. Approved. It's got serious work. We're doing serious work here, everybody. <laughs> I've never had a gummy shish kebab before. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Actually, it was really good. <laughs> mm. Mm. Gummy shish kebab.